sea pig facts from the seabed the name is sea boar, but this animal has nothing to do with pigs. This animal belongs to the echinoderm family. He is still related to sea cucumber or sea cucumber and sea urchin. Ocean of residence the scientific name of the sea pig is Scotoplanes globosa. Sea pigs can be found in all the oceans in the world. Even so, most people will never see sea boars in person. Because these animals live in the deepest part of the ocean, the minimum depth is 1,000 meters. This animal was only discovered in 1882 by Hallmar Tail, a zoologist from Sweden. In 1872 to 1876 Tail undertook a round-the-world expedition on the British research ship HMS Challenger. In that expedition, Tail discovered about 65 new species. One of them is sea pig. Similar to pig it is called a sea boar because its body is oval, fatty, pink in color, and has large tube-like legs. Body length between 5 to 10 centimeters. The legs are 5 to 7 pairs. At the top of his body there are two limbs similar to antennae. It's actually a leg too. With those legs, sea pigs walk on the muddy seabed in search of food. They use their sense of smell to detect food. That is why they are often found walking facing the direction of the water current. Where the food comes from. Sea pig food as crumbs from decaying animals or plants buried in the mud. To eat, sea urchins use a mouth surrounded by a ring of tentacles. In addition to reaching for food, the mouth functions to filter mud and absorb food nutrients. Like sea cow sometimes, sea pigs are found in large groups, not because they live in groups, but they gather when there is delicious and abundant food. Hi hi hi, oh yes, they are also known as sea cows because of the tube feet on the sides of their upper body, which are reminiscent of cow horns. The sea boar's enemy is the sea slug. This snail likes to attack the sea boar and suck it up. Another enemy is the trawlers. Yes, once pulled the net, this ship can accidentally carry 300 to 600 sea pigs. Unfortunately, these animals cannot be kept even though they are cute. Because the temperature and pressure of water on land is different from the temperature and pressure of water on the deep sea floor. Thank you for watching our YouTube. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you again.